Well, this young man's got the confidence to consider anything at this stage. There's the try again. Jonathan Sexton has, and has, has played a key role in the high try scoring rate of this Irish side this year, there's no question. Well, Ireland have taken the restart after it went loose. That ball looked to have been just tapped forward, Scotland's advantage, but Scotland's ball anyway. Kelly Brown is tap tackled, Graham Morrison, Gordon Darcy upon him, support is there. And Scotland up to within metres of the line and over. And the try is scored. And celebrations for a Scottish try. And Johnny Beatty, who has been a real star for Scotland in the Six Nations, moves Scotland in front. Well, Arne will look to this and probably think that they only have themselves to blame. There's a little bit too, as they say, too much rugby trying to be played there. First, Kian Healy. And then Stephen Ferris. Well deserved, though. Johnny Beatty putting himself in the place. And there's the three Bs combining pretty well to make that try for Scotland. He was never going to be caught. He evades the challenge of Jordan Murphy. He was a little bit high. Good strength and stretched his full six foot four. Well, a hugely powerful runner, Johnny Beatty, and a try that his father, a player of similar vein, would be very proud of, John Beatty of Scotland and the Lions. Well, two tries in 15 minutes in this match. Dan Parks from the very fringes of the pitch with this most difficult conversion attempt. He is a right footer. So that slightly favours him. A respectful hush at Croke Park, but just drifting wide from Dan Parks.